Addison Jones. I live in Lakeville, and I am going into seventh grade. And then this is my mom, and she's Beth Jones, and she lives in Lakeville. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. school it's not really about competition exactly like sports or anything it's just that especially with girls they'll just get mad at each other for the little like the littlest things about anything really like anything can set them off and then they'll just get mad and then they'll go bully others about it to feel like they have more power and stuff and like I don't know they just get because a lot of the girls at my school, they'll be bullying people, but then they'll be like, I'm not bullying anyone, everybody. We, we can't bully each other, but then they'll bully, like really bad that people will have to go to the principal's office or be sent home crying because it's like really bad. As a parent and as a member of, productive member of society, I am so burdened that our children are robbed of um, wealth, I, d I would argue that if you are worried about getting from point A to B in the hallway, maybe your mind's not on social studies or math or it, the relational aggression, it just bleeds into everything. And it, it's, it's so burdensome for me as a parent and I tend to, you know, try to protect, but I've done that in a way of talking to principals, coming up with ideas drama can, will start up still just no matter what that's reality that's what happens drama will start up and yeah so there's not really I don't know. yeah and that shouldn't be reality drama will start up that shouldn't be happening at school these are children you know I mean I'm yeah <laughs> it, it's very upsetting you don't really want to get involved like you don't want to the bully to start picking on you so you want to kind of stay out of the way but you want to like do something you want to tell a teacher or something but you're just too scared that you'll it'll turn on you and they'll blame you and then they'll start with you and you don't want to be like in that position for me personally it's not like I mean I'm happy with my school right now just because I know I have like friends there who love and care for me and yeah and I just stay out of bullies' ways, and it's not like, so I actually feel fine at my school, so. I mean, used to, it's like your parents say, you be nice to everyone, and now it's like, be nice to everyone, but lay low, duck, watch out. I mean, I'm living, I, I'm sick thinking that these, my children, all children, but especially mine, have to sit through that, and we're numb to it, you know? I'm numb, I'm sitting here numb, wondering why I'm not screaming. I usually get really upset about it, but, um. I think I've just learned to temper my passion, so, because I, I just want it to be right, and I guess at this point, um, my solution is to pull my children out of the public school system. At least the parents who are going to pay that kind of money probably have a little bit of the same values. If you're going to a Christian school, that's probably your values, and certainly all children can misbehave. But it seemed like it turned down the noise a little, like maybe children as a whole were held more accountable at home for their behavior. I'm happy where I am right now. At my school, I'm happy. I have nice teachers. I have nice friends. I mean, it's good there, and I like it. <laughs>